three. Well, these crews that work out here, they work as a team. And how these teams perform tonight, well, that's going to be watched as closely, almost as closely as that other team we've been keeping an eye on around here. And these pros tell us they're ready for anything. Like that? They have their uniforms, their stripes, and the hometown team everyone is rooting for is coming out of the tunnel ready for battle. The teamwork is, is essential to getting this type of job done. Tom Frio is with ODOT. He's a key player in this snow event. Not only will he be in the driver's seat when the snow showers kick off, he's been doing his homework to make sure everything goes smoothly. And there's plenty more that goes into the pregame warm-up, not just for the state, but for city crews too. And everyone has to coordinate together to make sure things go as expected. Yeah, we have to work as a team. There's approximately 3,300 lane miles that we have to cover. Jared Bolden is superintendent with Cincinnati. They have a game plan that calls for pre-treating and County crews are saying people at home have to go over their own plans. So as you get ready for this snow, talk to your employer, talk to your job, find out what the plan is, and then be prepared. Well, we only hope to have the same luck that the Cincinnati Bengals had on Sunday. Uh, they work together well as a team, and so we hope to do the same. Yeah, now the state's working 16-hour shifts tonight. The city crews, they'll begin with 12-hour shifts starting in about an hour from now, so everyone already knows this one's going into overtime. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.